Terry Watt with three exemptions and started studying for the actuarial exam straight away. It took me three and a half years of very hard work to qualify, but I got there in the end. Um, I found that the work I was doing as an actuary helped me with the exams because it was very relevant to what I was doing. And also the courses in Heriot Watt, particularly some of the data analysis and the modelling courses, were very relevant to the work I was doing in the office and helped me in the exams as well. Here we have one of the finest departments in the UK, if not the world, a department not only uh, with a strong reputation in the traditional actuarial areas, but also one which is helping us lead the profession into new areas such as enterprise risk management. Yeah, I've really enjoyed working uh, for Scottish Widows. It's really interesting to see how the course works out um, practically and it's good motivation as well for going into final year to see that I'm not doing a degree that's purely theoretical, that I'm doing a degree that will take me straight into the workplace um, with a lot of the necessary skills already in place. Over the summer I was based in Hartford, Connecticut, which was roughly halfway between New York and Boston. I think that the experience gained while working at Cigna is something that sets me in good stead for the future changing actuarial environment here in the UK. In Canada there was a lot of people who were very supporting. There was, a, there was actually a large uh, community of exchange students too, which I find. But I also managed to speak to a lot of people uh, living within Waterloo. I mean, for instance, in my uh, second term, I moved into accommodation in the city, which was good. I was uh, living with some bouncers at a little, local nightclub in Waterloo. That was brilliant fun. They had great times going out with them. Uh, it, was just, it was just good to get involved with the whole experience. Since first year, I've been actively involved in uh, quite a few societies and everything. Uh, I was part of the Malaysian Society in first year, and second year I was class rep. Third and fourth year, I was heavily involved with the Students Actuarial Society. So there were there are kind of, there are so many so many other things you could do, uh, other than it's not just about studies. You know, when you get into the job market, you can't just be all about the academics and the grades or anything. You have to prove to your future employers that you have the skills and capabilities of dealing with business world today. You need to show them that you have essential communication skills, team working skills and uh, just to show that you can interact in a team and bring out the best in a team as well. So there were, there were plenty of opportunities for me to get myself involved, you know, just meeting up with different people, organizing different events, and uh, just developing yourself as a character, which was one of the highlights as well of uh, my university career.